story. That's what I like, man, because deep down inside, I love a lot of things, but I love the thought too, man. That was a great event, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On all cylinders. A lot of HU people in there doing that thing. Shout out to Ashley, that was her event. She out here going crazy in LA. Bravo hit me with the uh, with the Ride Fresh drink. Let me pull it out. He was like, he knew I was coming through, so we had the Chicago drink just for me. Shout out to him for that. Of course, my boy Fresh Chester was up in there, uh, man, going crazy. LT, Calvin, one of the last events I'm here when I'm in LA. So, like I said, bro, I'm gonna be out here a lot more, man. Just be kicking. Taylor. Donye and I met back in, what, 2017, 2018 through a friend, Chelsea Turpin. Shout out to Chelsea. She pulled up to a couple of the cuffing season events we used to do in New York. Hope we need some good people. It's supposed to be a lot of movers and shakers in the room. Man, how did I meet Donye? When I met her, it's instantly recognizable. She's just one of those people that got a lot of, like her spirit is just creative. Got the vegan food truck. being fake vegan. I flow in and out of veganism. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. So my homegirl, Nadia, is pulling up. Oh, hi. Hi. Look at you. You look fly. Thanks, bro. Well, you, 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 you done came to LA, boy. I mean, you know. You, you in LA right That's now, for real. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Really ended up being a strength. We're off our politics in a second. We're just getting our catch up. We're getting our pregame, our mind right, our hydration. Shout out to Juice Bay, Black Home. Shout out to Juice Bay, Black Home. Put that on your story. It's my man's 
That really be impacting the real one. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. All this black beauty, excellence, exactly. intellect, you understand me? I just came here to check out the culture one time. Juice Bay, big black on the vibes, let's see. Okay. First it's like a warm taste, then you get a tart, and then you get a spice as you swallow. Oh, it's a good look. So you know my man's go by the alias story King Brent, and his ad lib is tell the story, right? So I'm gonna tell the fucking story right now. I'm 32 years old, you feel me? <laughs> Not to make it sound like a testimonial like that, but I'm 32 years old. I live in LA, one of the most lit, quote unquote, thotty cities in the country. He get here on Friday, you feel me? Or Thursday. Sunday. Sunday. See what I'm saying? That's gonna lead into the bullshit I'm talking about. You get here on Sunday. This motherfucker had me at the most thotty situations I've ever been in, where I'm like, bro, you try I got you got me living like I'm like 23 again. I'm 32. I said, hey, you had a good weekend. I'm thinking about, yo, it's fucking Wednesday. Niggas been out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'm like, bro, we party it like we at 21. We partying, we working. We, we working, working, we working. It's always good to have, you know, like young spirits like that to kind of, you know, bring you back to where you were. You know what I mean? Life is short. You know what I mean? And honestly, with the phrase tell the story like every day is a story we write our own stories you know what i mean you at the end of the day you're off into your own book you decide how your shit in we ain't decide how it started but you know it was given a blank book with blank pages you feel me and so we write our own stories and like i said with brent coming around it's always tell your story tell the story tell the story and it just kind of becomes a mindset where it's like yo everywhere i go everything i do i wanted to have a story attached to it and that story turns into a, a memory and that memory turns into something that's unforgettable where you can be laid up with your wife or, you know, watching your son chilling and your pastime is reliving these memories in your head. You know what I'm saying? So, all that to say, man, fuck Brent. He had me out here on some thotty shit. It's my dog, though. But he had me out here living like a motherfucking thot. And it's you know what I'm saying? Being that, we back Bro, in L.A. at least once a month. You see? Know what I'm see? see? I might as well have been in an apartment with seven of my homeboys with no job, no rent. The way he had me moving, I'm out here. Bro, I'm out here partying on a Monday. But look, look at these contacts you're making them. Yeah, yeah, it's a good vibe, it's a good vibe. Today was a good day, man. Like I said, shout out Story King Brent, tell the fucking story at all times. Shout out, that was a good time, man. And also, I don't know who owned this or what the brand is. This shit here, make you want to slap your mama, you dig? Yeah, I know it's like that. <laughs> all right, so as y'all know, the uh, event got canceled due to, I mean, it's Hollywood, so. The Hollywood movie industry is tightening in this town. And basically, they had somebody call up to the venue. They wanted to film something. And they offered them a bag. And they was like, yo, we never made money like that on a Tuesday before. So they pushed our event to the side. Understandably so. I'm not mad because we got an even better deal. And we're going to be able to throw the event on a weekend. And that just tells me this is not my last trip to L.A. So I'm going to have another reason to come back. And we're going to throw that event. We got story King out of motherfucking LA, nigga. We got the vibes going, you know what the fuck going on. Man. So it's about 2 a.m. We downtown LA. My flight is in four hours. As much trash as I talked about LA these past couple years, I had a ball. <laughs> I'm gonna be back probably once a month, man. Looking forward to these LA trips, establishing my network here. And bringing these vlogs, man. Let me know how these vlog, this vlog was. Give some tips what you want to see more or less of. Tell the story. Story came around all social media. Check out the mixes. Check out everything I got going on. Rock with you. Tell the story. <laughs>